In season 7, Roger and Brianna are out dating Claire and Jamie, who are in their 50s, in terms of dating. Previously, Outlander was renowned for its breathtaking sex scenes between Claire and Jamie. The hottest scene of the seventh season of Outlander so far is in this week's brand new episode, which also serves as a handy time travel refresher following William Buck. Rob Cameron's affections for Brian are mentioned by Matt Kenzie of the Knuckle Abbey. For the first time in a very long time, love unites the time-traveling, general-defying narrative of the stars program as Roger unleashes his primal side and engages in sexual activity with his wife while listening to Phil Collins' timeless 1981 song, which will be playing tonight. The events of Outlander Season 7 take place in the 20th century to give their young daughter a life-saving procedure. Mandy While attempting to repair Lalibrock, the previous residents of the Fraser family, Roger and Brianna time-traveled to their original timelines with their children. They now divide their time equally between the neighboring camper and the partially rebuilt castle. Young parents frequently flirt, and Roger and Brian have done so throughout the season, but they haven't had many opportunities to express their feelings for one another. Everything changes when the two find themselves putting together a pull-out sofa for their uninvited time-traveling house guest Buck. When discussing the stupid Abbey present, Tom Roger mentions his forefather's concerns that Rob Cameron might be seeing Brianna. Abby laughs at this, which she then uses to her advantage to start her seduction while Phil Collins performs. I can feel it in the air tonight, and I've been waiting for this moment my entire life, Brianna added as she slipped her shirt off. Roger approaches her with the same Scottish Highlander vigor that we generally associate with Jamie while wearing a kilt, as opposed to the courteous student. When Rob approaches her, Brianna maintains her composure and emphasizes that he is just a lonely divorcee. In response, Roy says, I'm his boss, as Roger begins to put his hands on her exposed skin. He has an even stronger reason to yearn for you. Roger asks, are you getting a little bit territorial in response? I think he might appreciate calling you, Gobble, a little too much. Roger. Just as Roger stops her, Matt Kenzie puts his hand on hers. What if, despite knowing that a modern guy shouldn't be possessive, I'm feeling a little more feral tonight? Brianna begs and reaches for his kilt as he encircles her calf and lifts her. It serves as a reminder that Roger and Brianna have a strong love that keeps them together despite all the chaos they must endure, similar to how Claire and Jamie endured being tricked by their partners. The moment Roger asks, Colin's song picks up tempo, and the two of them are suddenly having loud sex on the freshly made bed. All around the place, there are groans, gropes, and kisses. Pop songs are featured in a variety of TV shows, as in the Phil Collins needle drop scene. Outlander is clever and cheeky about it because they don't often have the luxury, so when they can, they utilize Phil Collins, in the air tonight, as a needle drop. Yes, the song would have been played on the radio in the past without a doubt, but it is also a proven hit. Even more striking is Outlander's comprehension of the music. Along with leaving your feedback in the box below, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. We value your time and we'll get back to you soon.